we have a very short lecture here about data interchange. So you may be a little bit confused about what is JSON file. So what is JSON file? So, <laughs> and there are also some other uh, files that are similar to JSON file. So they are not uh, language that you can execute. Like you cannot run the script in JSON file. Right, so what you can see, for example, in uh, the package.json file, it's more like you are saving some information or data about the project, but it's not executable. Right, so JSON file is not executable. It's a file that can store data for a specific structure. And the structure looks very similar to JavaScript object. So this is a very, um, but there are also other um, languages or files that are similar to JSON file like YAML or XML file, but what are they? So what they are? So they are actually a kind of standard interface for our software project. So for example, um, in a web app, Somebody may prefer to use JavaScript for front-end and using Python for back-end. So how could the data communicate between the different programming language? So what if you write in some data you, uh, for the front-end using JavaScript, and you need to process this data in the back-end using Python? What, we need to have something in the middle right, to transfer the data tab. So this is called the standard interface. So what is the standard interface in our real life? So for example, a USB cable can transfer data of, of between my laptop or computer or like uh, my phone with my computer, right? Uh, this one or this one or railway. You need to have a standard, right? So that different trains can all go through, uh, use the same rails. So they are standard interfaces. So similar to the example that we explained, like how we can uh, transfer data from front end using JavaScript and back end using Python, right? So this is standard interface for data. And we need a data interchange format that can be read using JavaScript, can be read using C, can be used reading uh, Java or Python or whatever. So these are called data interchange format. And there are three main interchange formats, which are JSON, YAML, and uh, XML. So these are data formats. And JSON formats is a format made up of braces for objects, square, bra uh, square brackets for arrays, or da, 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 da. So you can see that it's very, very similar to JavaScript object. But there are also differences. Um, for example, let's have a look at this one. So can I have a comma here in our JSON file? No, it will have an error message. But in a uh, JavaScript object, this is a lot. So this is one difference. Other, uh, other difference is uh, object keys must be strings and must include atmosphere, so the cost. So in a JavaScript object, we have seen that, uh, we're saying example, let me find an example. Uh, where's the example? Split before. Where's our JavaScript? Objects, let's find an example, example, example. Yes, so here's an example. So you can see that we can have no, we have, we had no codes in uh, for the keys in a, a, a JavaScript object. However, in a JSON file, we have to have the quotations for the keys. All right, so these are the two differences like uh, the, the syntax of uh, uh, JavaScript object and a JSON file, data, like JSON data object. Yeah, so this is the different. Otherwise, it, the, it's the same, looks very similar, right? 
So you can think of it like JSON file is a file to save data. You cannot run it, you cannot execute it. It's just somewhere that you can save your data in that. Um, but the powerful thing of JSON is that it's a data interchange data format, meaning that majority of programming language can somehow save the data in a JSON file and can also read data from a JSON file. So for example, for your front end, you use JavaScript, you read a user input or some information, and then you can save the data in a JSON file. And then for a backend, for example, C or Python or similar uh, or same JavaScript, you can also read from this JSON file and make it a JavaScript object and uh, work with the data. So this is why we need it, why it is important. Uh, so here's an example of exactly how we can read and write with a uh, JSON file. So this is an example. So um, to be able to use, uh, to be able to read or write to JSON file, we need a library, like JavaScript library called FS. And this is a predefined library, like we do not need to use npm install to install. So after you have installed Node.js, you can start to use this library called FS. And this library is useful when you want to read or write uh, to our files, especially JSON files. So we import this library and we define a data structure. So for example, your user data, right, your user information, login data. And then you can use json.stringify this data structure. So before we write to a JSON file, we need to json.string file. So make it a JSON string before we write it to the JSON file. All right. So we need to somehow uh, transfer your op JavaScript object into a JSON string before we write this JSON string to the JSON file. All right, so this is a process. So this is just a process like we have to follow, unfortunately. Um, and this, then we can use a FS method called fs.writefilesync, the file that we want to save this data to, and the data, the string file the data. And with the flag w means that we are writing to this file. So let's have a try, have a look. Uh, we are a bit short of time, should be fine. So this is the JSON string it file. And what we can do is let's go to this folder first. And then we run node JSON 8.js. So you can see that a new file was created just now. This export.json file. And this is the JSON string. Right, so this is how we can write to a JSON file. So if you want to have a database, like somehow save your data without very complex, like, uh, very complex database structure, you can just save your data like this in a JSON file. Mm. Yeah, question. Can we use another language to read from JSON file? Yes, you can. Majority of the majority of programming language can read from JSON file, not only JavaScript. For the assignment, oh, we are using JavaScript. Yes, for the assignment. Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot read in Python. <laughs> yeah. But after you have learned J uh, JSON file, you can use it in your other projects, like outside of the OneFile Scrum Major project. Yeah, so this is how we can write to the JSON file. Um, but we can also read from JSON file. So what if we want to read from what we have write to the, uh, the export.json file and make it a JavaScript object so that we can use the data for uh, uh, other functions. Uh, similarly, we still need to import this FX library. 
to be able to read. And the method that we use is called read file sync. So we read from this export.json file and we flag it as R, like means read. Before we actually use this JSON file as a JavaScript object, we need to use json.pass to pass it into a, into a JavaScript object. Otherwise, this JSON, after you read, is to a JSON string. So it looks like this. So it's not a JavaScript object yet. So to make an uh, JavaScript object that you can use for your other purposes, you need to JSON.pass to pass it into a, a JavaScript object. So data is a, data, a JavaScript object that you can use for your other purposes. Right. So let's try to run it. Uh, yeah. OK. So this is called and JSON 8. So you can see that uh, after you pass it, pass this JSON string using JSON.pass, it's passed back into a JavaScript object. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is how we can read and write uh, with a uh, JSON file. So this is used for uh, later, in the later weeks, when you want to store your user data or other data in a file without building a complicated database. You can just save the data as a J uh, JSON string in a JSON file. So this is what we call file-based database. File file database. Yeah, we will we'll explain more about this uh, in a later week. Uh, another type of file is called YAMA. So YAMA is another popular modern interchange format. Is uh, this is how it looks like? So it doesn't look like uh, JavaScript object anymore, uh, but it also has clear structure. So the name of this this group of data is called location, and this is uh, like the first. So similar, this is like the first object. And the, for location, and this is the second object, and this is the third object. But it is not called object in YAML. But the the meaning, the semantic meaning is similar. Like you still have different groups of data. Um, and they has a quite strict uh, format, like a format uh, requirement. For example, identity. And dentation matters. Like you need to have a dentist here, so you cannot stop a uh, start from beginning for postcode. It will give you. It will uh, treat this subcode as a new object or a new item. So in parallel with location. So the identation matters, and also a dash is used at beginning of a list item. So similarly, like a, a list item is like an object, and an object, right? and very common for configuration. So. We will use YAMA later as well, um, but it's quite easy and straightforward. It's also a data structure, right? similar to JSON, but just different format. XML is very old school one. So there's still some like for financial, uh, FinTech uh, financial um, software, they still use uh, XMLs. Uh, but for our project and many other uh, modern uh, apps, like we are not using XML. So you can see that it's much more complicated, right? A lot of redundancy and easy to, uh, hard to read, mm. hard to write. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has a few issues, but it's still used uh, in some cases. Okay, perfect. So this is a very short lecture. So this one is only to introduce to you what is JSON file. So we have been using package.json file, but we haven't introduced it yet. So here we are introducing to you what is this JSON file. So all you need to know is it's not an executable file. It's not script like we can run, like we can call like JavaScript file. It's just a type of file that you can save data into it. And it's used for uh, when we want to read and write from a file. Like when you want to save your data somewhere, you can save this. You can save your data in a JSON file, and later on you can read it from the file. 
Yeah, and Yama will see it in a little week and we will explain more about that. All good? Question? No? Okay, thank you.